okay okay so in today's lesson we're gonna be looking at theorem 6 which states that the exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to the opposite interior angle as you can see here we are given a diagram and then we are given this exterior angle here um, we are shown that it is equal to this opposite interior angle so in today's exercises we'll just be exploring um, theorem number six so okay now we have this 110 degrees which is an exterior angle then from the theorem we know that an exterior angle is equal to the opposite interior angle meaning x is equal to 110 degrees so this is exterior angle of cyclic quad now let's move to b with b we can see a similar case we are given this x here which we can see that it is an exterior angle of a cyclic quad and then it should be equal to this opposite interior angle so x is equal to 85 degrees we say exterior angle of cyclic quad okay now let's get to c with c we can see that it starts to get a little bit complicated so we have this 125 degrees if we are looking for x here we have this 125 degrees which you can see it in it is an exterior angle of cyclic quad b e d c so b e d c is a cyclic quad and we see, we can see the exterior angle of a cyclic quad is 125 which will be equal to the opposite interior angle x so x we say is equal to 125 degrees and then this is exterior angle of cyclic quad okay but what about y how are we going to find y now when it comes to y we can see that we have a diameter here which is b o e now we know a diameter will subtend an angle of 90 degrees on the circumference so this comes from our theorem number three so y is equals to 90 degrees and we say angles or angle on a semicircle angle on a semicircle now that we have our y so our y is 90 our x is 125 how are we going to get x with this 125 we can see that this 125 is not only just an exterior angle of a cyclic quad but then it is also an exterior angle of this right angle triangle here right so we can see that this is an exterior angle of a triangle then we know an exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the two opposite interior angles so it's different with the uh, quadrilateral with the quadrilateral it, it is only equal to the opposite interior angle but with the with the triangle it is equal to the two opposite interior angles so what does that mean it means that z plus the 90 degrees from y is equals to 125 degrees and we say exterior angle of triangle right now calculating for z we have z is equals to 125 minus 90 and then z will be equals to 35 degrees okay now let's look at d when it comes to d we should find um, the missing values a and b so for a we can see that a here is an interior angle of a cyclic quad which um should be equal to the exterior angle of a cyclic quad so a is equals to 112 and then we see exterior angle of cyclic quad so we have 112 here degrees and then looking for b with b we can see that now we are looking at theorem number five which says the opposite angles of a cyclic quad are supplementary so b plus 92 degrees should give you 180 degrees and this is 
opposite angles of cyclic quad. Okay, so B now is equals to 180 degrees minus 92 degrees, which gives us 88 degrees. So B is 88 degrees. Okay, let's look at E. Um, can see that we have X here. And then our X is an interior angle of a cyclic quad, which is equal to the exterior angle of a cyclic quad. So exterior angle of cyclic quad is equal to opposite interior angle of cyclic quad. Then X is equal to 98 degrees. Then we say exterior angle of cyclic quad. Okay, so we have our 98 for x and then looking for y once again we can see our theorem 5 in play opposite opposite angles of a cyclic quad are supplementary so we have y plus 90 degrees is equals to 180 degrees then opposite angles of cyclic quad then obviously our y will be 180 minus 90, which will just give us 90 degrees. Okay, so looking at f, you can see that we are required to find the values x, y, and m, right? So in order to find x, it's pretty much easy because we can see that we have an exterior angle here, which is 106, and then we know it should be equal to the opposite interior angle. So x is equal to 106 degrees, and we say exterior angle of cyclic quad. Now to find m, we can see that here, let's fill in our 106 degrees. We can see that we are given a pair of parallel lines, which is AD parallel to BC. Right, so whenever we see parallel lines, we think along the lines of fun. So we want to see if we have any corresponding angles, any co-interior angles, or any alternate angles. With this one, we can obviously see co-interior angles, right? Because they form a U-shape. And then we know co-interior angles are supplementary. That means they add up to 180 degrees. So that means we can say M plus 106 degrees should give us 180 degrees. And what's the reason for that? Co-interior angles. And then remember, we should offer the pair of parallel lines. So we say AD parallel to BC. Then um, calculating for M, we'll say M is equals to 180 degrees minus 106 degrees. And M is equals to 74 degrees. So we can fill in our 74 here. Then to find Y, we can use the fact that M and Y are opposite angles of a cyclic quad. So, y plus 74 degrees should give us 180 degrees. And the reason for that is opposite angles of cyclic quad. Okay, so y will be 180 degrees minus 74 degrees. So, y is equal to 106 degrees. Or alternatively, you could have seen that you are given a pair of parallel lines and then you could have used that to just say alternate angles, right? Because if you can just follow through here, this is a Z, right? So this is a Z forming. Then you could have just said Y is equals to 106 degrees and you say alternate angles. Then you offer the pair of parallel lines AD parallel to BC. Okay, moving to G, um, we are required to find the missing values X and Y, but here we can see that we are given an exterior angle 70 degrees, which by now we know that it should be equal to the opposite interior angle. But then with this one, should be equal to all of this, right? So this is the opposite interior angle, right? This X and 40. So now we can say X plus 40 degrees should be equal to 70 degrees. And we say exterior angle of 
cyclic quad. Okay, so uh, calculating for x, we'll say x is 70 minus 40 degrees, which will now give us 30 degrees. Right, then uh, calculating for y, we can see that once again we are given an exterior angle, 80 degrees, which we know should be equal to all this angle the whole of s right but then remember when we want to calculate for y here we don't have the value here so we should find the value in here and do not make the mistake of us uh, assuming that these angles are equal they're not right then um we can just find this angle here by holding chord qr we can see that chord qr subtends an angle here x which we have already calculated to be 30 degrees and then the same chord qr subtends um an angle here on the circumference which is this part here so this part is also equal to x which is equal to 30 degrees so we know angles that are subtended by the same chord are equal we say these are angles on the same segment so that means the whole of s we, if we can say y plus 30 degrees this should all be equals to 80 degrees and the reason is exterior angle of cyclic quad then y is equals to 80 degrees minus 30 degrees so y is equals to 50 degrees awesome